Sir, if you don't mind me asking, who are you? My name is Max Medici, owner of the Medici Family Circus. For the past few months, my circus has been looking for an engine. I was restored by the Medici Family Circus in 1919. I received replacement parts, new paint, and even a brand new whistle. But the biggest change of all came in the form of my own engineer. His name was John Luther, but the men around here called him Casey Jones. I was tasked with pulling the circus's first cross-country circus train from Sarasota, Florida to San Francisco, California. Where are we? Why have we stopped here? This is Tallahassee, Florida, Casey. You're going to be sitting here for a little bit until we can get the Mississippi Dispatch to verify that our track is clear for tomorrow morning. Well, do you at least know when we can get going in the morning? Casey, we've been traveling for the past six hours. You don't even want to stop and take a rest? Well, yes, I'm a little exhausted, but I could, I could just Casey, keep go. I'll come here tomorrow morning as early as I can, and then you and I can get this train moving as soon as possible. How does that sound? Good night, Casey. <laughs> Would somebody please let me in my own train? Casey was true to his word. He showed up early in the morning to fire me up, but no sooner had we pulled onto the main line that I discovered a problem. Whoa, Casey, whoa! Well, what, what, what? That's a signal right there. That's a signal? That doesn't look like any semaphore that I've ever seen. That's because that's a ball signal, Casey. When the ball is in the lower position, that means stop. And when the ball is in the higher position, that means go. Have you ever heard of the railroad phrase highballing? I can't say I have. It must be a regional thing. <laughs> I thought my signal confusion would end there, but sadly, it didn't. Every mainline signal just looked more different than the next one.
Does that mean I can go? Why is there two signals? And unfortunately, my confusion made us very, very late. Hello, Casey. Uh, hello, Mr. Jones. I know what you're thinking, Casey, and this is not your fault. Come, let me, let me, let me tell you a story, Casey. When I first started out on the railroad, I worked for the Postal Service with my fireman Sam Webb and my own locomotive. One evening, we were running late. I was trying desperately to make up for lost time. We entered a tunnel going over 60 miles an hour, and as we were getting ready to go down the grade, I applied the Westinghouse air brake. Nothing. We were going 60, 70, 80. We were going down the grade, making 90 miles an hour. Me and my fireman had jumped clear before the crash, but our locomotive was totaled. They took away my locomotive, and I'm not exactly sure what happened to my locomotive after that. Eventually, I was transferred, and, uh, well, the rest is history. All of that happened because we were late. You know what, Casey? From that day, I vowed to never let another one of my trains run late again. I'm not about to let you become my second. <sighs> Come on, Casey. You've got this. That's strange. That signal's supposed to be yellow, then. Hey, what's with the hold up? This is supposed to be my section. I can't move. My signal's not correct. My top semaphore is red, but my lower semaphore is green. Shouldn't it be yellow? If your lower semaphore is green, then that means you have to get a move on. Now come on, come on, get out of my way. I'm not going anywhere until I can verify that my signal is correct. It's probably been ages. Your signal should be green by now. Hold your tongue, Lucifer. This engine is correct. He is? He is. Maintenance damaged that signal this morning. They're going to be returning to repair that signal now. So Casey, you can proceed westward at 25 miles an hour. You have a good one. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a bit. What a shame. You know, you better start caring about your work a little more or else it's gonna come back to bite you in the- Hey, crab pots. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Why are you two standing at my platform? Calm down, Shaq. Don't act like you don't have any issues. <clears throat> sorry, sh sorry, Shaq. We've uh, sprung an air brake on one of our cars. Um, we're just kind of stuck here. We're 
trying to get that fixed well, right now. Well, you better move, because I have to pull into my platform to allow that circus train to go by, which should be here in a... That's not him, right? Waking up. Oh, what happened? You collided into the back end of a stopped goods train, Casey. Casey, I just wanted to say I'm very proud of you. But I failed to stop the train, sir. But you did significantly slow your train down, and there were no other deaths or casualties. Casey here is doing fine. Unfortunately, we're stranded here for a little bit until you get repaired and Casey heals. You might recognize this place, Casey. But this is the Southern and Eastern. I looked around. My old home suddenly felt haunted to me. My once golden shimmering mirage now made me feel sick. It was almost like... I had some sort of unfinished business here.